it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, Brew Tubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. Hi guys, and welcome to the 2014 SJ Pour Challenge. Today, I'll be doing um, a Belgian Dark Strong Ale. It's um, Cranberry Road Brewery, and it's 8.8% 8 .8 volume, and the registration number is JO140GB. Right, let's give this a crack open. Some hot, um, some this. Mmm. Some multi flavors. Right, let's give this a pour. I can see it's quite carbonated. Let's try and get it all in. I'll stop it there. Right. That's the label. Right. Mmm, some dark multi flavours in that. The head is a nice one finger sort of thing, but I think the head's going to disappear soon because it's fizzing away. That's a lovely brownie colour. And yeah, it's really, really, really carbonated. I don't know whether you can see that. Nah, you can't. But yeah, I can. It's fizzing away like good. Right. This is 8.8%, .8%, so. Let's dive in. It's carbonated. Right. Rome hops. Um, I'm not picking out specific ones, I'm picking out a lot of uh, maltiness, multi aromas. There's no off flavours, no, no grassy notes. Fairly, fairly fizzy. If you hold it in your mouth, you can like feel it fizzing away. Parents, uh, it's not clear, but it has been in the fridge, so I'm not going to mark it down for that. It's a nice. Coppery colour. And the head has formed into a great one. Look at that. Nice and creamy. But it's quite carbonated. Flavour. It's got some really nice flavours in this. Can't make them out. It's like, all right. It's 
when you drink it there's not much flavour but as it goes down your throat all the, th all the flavours come alive um, it's got this fruity fruitiness flavour to it um, Mm. It's, it's really well balanced but, mm, whatever the flavour is I think there's a combination of different flavours in this all mixed in together I think the flavour of the, um, the f I call it fruit the fruit flavour and the multi flavours infuse and they work really well I've had beers like this before um, it's been really malty and I don't really like malty beers but this is malty but with an added sort of really nice yummy sort of fruity flavour it's sort of like a sweet um, like it's along the lines of something like I'm, I'm picking up like um, chew it or something like that it's, it's got that sort of sweet flavor to it I, I can't just uh, I can't make it out oh, well, mm. this is delicious this is really nice do like it. Um, eight point eight percent. I'm not feeling it, not at the moment. Uh, sometimes when I drink like a five percent beer and it gets down to about there, I'm sort of just start going a bit lightheaded. Um, but at the moment, no, I'm not feeling the eight point eight percent. You would think it would be a nice warm beer um, going down your throat, but there's none of that. This is more about carbonation attack. That's what it's about. This fizziness. Okay, this is like a candy fizzy multi drink. That's how I can describe this beer. And I like it a lot. I reckon if I had two or three of these, I would have a good night. And the head's still there. Good marks for that. Look at that. That's a lovely creamy head again. It stayed. Beautiful. Just a shame it's, the bottle was so small. Don't have enough of it. Yeah. Tell you what, I know for a fact. As soon as I stop recording, I will go. That's that bloody taste. That's what it is. But yeah, this keeps you guessing. And it's really nice. Cheers for making this beer, and then entering it into the competition. Cheers for watching guys.